before there was this, and this, and this, and this, and this, there was this, the humble pine cone. It's more than a Christmas decoration. It's an ancient form of tree sex. This is a female pine cone. This cone is male. Most cone-bearing trees, they're called conifers, produce both kinds, and each cone has a job to do. Males, that's easy. They just make pollen, lots of it, and let the wind spread it around. Females hold the seeds. They're tucked deep in there, inside each of those armor-like scales. She has to protect them, keep them from being eaten. Be like a fortress. But seeds also have to be exposed at some point in order to catch pollen and be fertilized. So this humble pine cone has an amazing trick. For a short time, early in her development, she opens her scales just slightly to let the pollen in. Then she closes them back up while the seeds mature. But when the seeds are ready, her scales flex and stretch. They open to release the seeds, which grow up into the next generation of trees. It's a good strategy. The largest living things in the world, the oldest, they all reproduce with pine cones. Conifers have been doing this for 300 million years. A few other plants have shown up since then with their own faster, maybe more spectacular ways of getting the job done. They've taken up a lot of the best real estate. Today, conifers only really dominate the landscape in places where flowering plants can't thrive. But in those places, the cold, the dry, the land with poor soil, the primitive pine cone reigns supreme. Hi again, it's Amy, and this is what pine pollen looks like under a microscope. Those little wings help the pollen catch wind and take flight. And we at Deep Look are also taking flight for a few weeks over the holidays. We'll be back in January. We'd love to hear what kinds of stories you want to see. Send us ideas in the comments field below. And while you're at it, click that button right there and subscribe. That way you'll never miss an episode. Thanks so much. Take care.